name is Ziad Sab. I work for myself. That's, that's a cliche thing to say, I know, but uh, everyone works for someone. So uh, as a software development consultant, I, I have many clients. What I do for my clients, well, I've, I've been doing this for a really long time now, just about 20 years. So uh, I do do software development, but I also have some projects where I have people working on the project and I am managing these people and making sure that uh, the work that they do is uh, really following all the latest uh, technologies and uh, uh, that they're working well together. And for quite a few years now, just by virtue of working with many clients in all sorts of different industries, I've also started being interested and being part of conversations on the, the product side of things. So not only development, but also helping my clients, you know, hone in on the, the features that they need, on making sure that they understand, you know, what is an MVP and that uh, they know what the features uh, that they need in order to just get the product out to people out there. So I've, I've really evolved over time to doing a little bit over everything in terms of uh, ap application development. The nano degree is called the SQL nano degree. And the course that I'm building as part of this nano degree contains a big portion that talks about SQL, but also a small portion that talks about non-relational databases. And if I, widen and talk about the nano degree in general, we're talking about databases and that means we are talking about data. So you might look at SQL and you might think, okay, this is a, a very technical course and indeed it is a technical course. That being said, SQL is a language that is here to help us to manage data and data is at the core of everything that we do. In terms of career, I would say if you are looking at becoming a data analyst or if you are, say, a front-end developer who's just been through a bootcamp and is looking to move into the world of back-end or full-stack development, you are going to get a lot out of this course. You are going to learn not only technically speaking about commands and, and technologies and, and different databases, but you are going to learn how to reason about data and how to look at it from a perspective that is going to allow you to build your application. Data is going to be at the root of your application and learning how to design the databases and the schemas properly is going to allow you to build a great application. From the analyst point of view, once an application is built and it starts gathering data, well, this course is also going to give you all the tools that are necessary in order to be able to do a deep analysis of that data. No matter what kind of database the engineers have chosen in order to store that data. Now, if you are the curious type, you might be a product manager, a product owner, an entrepreneur, and you have other people that are already taking care of all your technology. They're choosing databases, they're choosing platforms and everything, but you are a curious person and you like to know a little bit more about how these people are making those choices and what are the implications of those choices in terms of cost, but also in terms of future possible business decisions. Well, this is also a course that could be interesting for you because we do talk a lot about trade-offs and we do include in a portion of the course insights about how technology choices can affect future business outcomes. So this course is going to not only get you technically able, but it's also going to use your creativity and is going to be extremely stimulating to go through. The best thing about the project is that it mirrors, at least partly, one of the most popular websites that is out there, which is called Reddit. So you're going to be building, as part of the project, a data system that is going to support 
a social news aggregation website with comments, with votes, and it's going to be something that you have probably interacted with before and you're going to be able to start seeing the inner workings of such a system.